What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, uh, we basically did uh, half of Ghostly Galaxy, and uh, on top of that, we read the one of the last chapters in the storybook. We shouldn't have that many left, but either way, um, we're going to go to the kitchen and do the last of the Ghostly Galaxy. Hopefully, we can squeeze in the, the boss star while we're at it, because we're almost done with the kitchen, believe it or not. But, uh... Anyway, so we're going to do the Ghost of the, the third star. Now, there's going to be the third star, and there's going to be a Prankster comment. That's all we really have left. But either way, so, uh, this is Beware of Boulder Guys. Now, I've heard Boulder Guys be called a hard boss. I have never personally found him to be a hard boss. And, uh, once we reach him, I'll give you more advice on how to beat him, pro how to beat if, you ha if you're struggling with him. It's mainly because the prankster comment in this world is a daredevil run. That's pretty much the reason Boulder Guys has a bad rep to begin with. But anyway, we'll just, uh... Try to see if we, uh... Get rid of these spiders. Or, they could be spiders. Who oh, no, knows? People can think Tech Tice and Zelda are spiders, but... Oh! oh. I, I, that's on my own thing. It's not an excuse me moment, but, uh... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to kill them to star bits. Now, anyway, these are new enemies. I'm gonna still call them Black Boos because, again, I do not really know what they're officially called, but, uh... Those just actually, uh... Those just get star bits. Why do we need those, actually? Yeah, so let's, we'll just take any star bits we can. But you just, uh, you, you, you shake the Wii mode to basically spin them around, and basically they blow up. And you want to get this one right here, and, uh, that cuts up the, uh, star launcher, so... Let's go! Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of kill those assholes. So we can just uh, go up here. I wouldn't see, I wouldn't really go too much into getting starbits because you can get a lot of starbits on the boss. Let's see if we can get a one up at least. We're not gonna get a one up. We are gonna get a one up. I took that back. I take that back. We get a one up, but we took damage. So. Unfortunately, I think this is the last video we're going to record in the session, so... Because when you start a new file in these older games, uh... Essentially, uh, a lot of your save data, a lot of your lives are going to be reset to default settings. That's how it works in these older games. So it's only really in recent years where the Wii is starting to become considered retro, I'd say. But if you put it in context... The Wii's about as old now as the the Wii's as old now as the N64 was a decade ago, so I consider the Wii to be a retro console like today. Um a decade ago I would have said absolutely not, but now I would say today, yes. Wii is a retro console. But anyway, there's another one of these, uh, Lumas that can give us, uh, a health or an, uh, a health extension or one up. I don't think I really need either, though. Alright, I'll tell you the tip on Boulder, guys. My tip on Boulder, guys, is he's gonna start, like, falling, falling down rocks. So, um, my tip is that, uh, my tip is that do not stop running in circles until that last rock drops and then the boo drops. So eventually, um, well, I, I kind of botched it that time, but, uh, He's gonna one of those some of those rocks. The black rocks gonna contain uh, the the black boos. So uh, and try to get seeding in as many hits as possible after that. So uh, and try and when he does this, try to see if he can get if he can clear the air before he starts uh, throwing rocks. And uh, those gold rocks will contain coins in case you took damage. But uh, yeah, if you do my method, this is not actually a hard boss. You just have to get hit twice. So uh, that's hit the first time. So uh. 
Yeah, so I, I never really considered Boulder Guy to be that hard a boss. But phase two is where it starts to get more challenging, let's just say. So anyway, and he's gonna um he's basically gonna punch you, and uh again, yeah, you, you can take out his hands or you can take out him. But uh either way, just do the same method. Don't stop running until all the rocks are gone. And then um Trust me, yeah. Well I took a hit right there, so if I was gonna get it on my time, I would have lost that. So um So uh yeah, so uh yeah, I don't really consider Boulder Guys to be a hard to be fair, I'm a veteran player of this game. I've been playing it for nearly twenty years, so um Once we get this uh black boo right here, um Anyway, I thought that wasn't going to work, but anyway. I think there's another Daredevil mission later in the game. I actually think it's worse than Boulder Guy's Daredevil. So, uh... We should get, uh... We should get Boulder Guy's Daredevil star to spawn, but if it doesn't, I'll just cut till it spawns. So either showing or cutting. Anyway, so I had to fork that Luma over, uh... 20 star bits to get it to appear, so that's why I cut the footage. So anyway, so uh this is Boulder Guy's Daredevil run, and uh I actually find one other Daredevil star to be worse than this, but this is Boulder Guy's Daredevil run. I got hit the last time, but essentially we have to fight Boulder Guy's for the handgun. So again, I'll give the advice to keep running around in circles until the uh thing drops. Until the, all the rocks drop. That's how you, you that's when you're supposed to hit them. So uh if you follow my advice, you should have an easier time with this, let's just say. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's different when you're literally with one HP. But, uh, either way, either way, so yeah, just follow the same advice. Run in circles until the, uh, go, run in circles and don't stop until he does the last walk. Like that, so we got one hit on him. Eventually, he's gonna do that, so, um... Anyway, so, he's gonna do the rocks, so, uh, yeah. Just clear the way of some of the rocks, some of the, some of the hand boulders things, and, uh... And eventually, we should, uh, that's the, that's gonna be the first hit down, and, uh... And that's already the second phase, so, uh... I will say when I was a kid, I definitely, like, struggled on this, uh star, let's just say. It's definitely considered one of the hardest stars in the game. Which I would personally say there's other stars in this game that are worse, but uh, we're, even ones we already played, like the freaking Slingpod Galaxy. But either way, um... That's, our, that's one hit down, and uh... And again, don't um, stop running until all those uh, boulders are down. Oh shit, I hit the hand. Yeah, when you hit the hand, it kind of stuns it, but uh... Yeah, I kind of cleared the way of that, so uh... The hand can also clear the way of those uh, things, so just uh... Again, don't stop running until uh... They stop until the boulders stop. So, uh, one more hit, he should go to the, uh... I almost got hit there, but, uh, either way, uh, we, we almost got this. That was Boulder Guy's Daredevil Star in one try. That was, that was one take I had to do with this, so, uh... One try, and, uh, you can do the same if you follow my advice and practice this. So anyway, we're gonna do the, uh, the, we're gonna do one last thing for this video. We're gonna do the, uh, last thing we can really do in the kitchen, at least for now. We can, we're gonna have to go back here much later, but, uh, so what we're gonna do in the kitchen is, uh, the boss star. Which, if we open this, it's Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. So, uh, when I was a kid, I also thought this boss was annoying. I thought a lot of bosses were annoying when I was a kid, to be fair. There's a difference between a 9-year-old and a 25-year-old, let's just say. But, uh, 
I guess that's kind of a star. So, uh... So anyway, what we're going to do now is, uh, we're going to get the star bits. I'm going to try to even get many star bits. We've been kind of lacking with the star bits. I did not mean the long jump. I meant the backflip, so... DIE! Ha ha ha! Anyway, so this is going to be canon. I thought this canon part was particularly annoying, but, uh, what I realize now is, uh, this is Bolthar. Excuse me! No, I'm getting your money! I'm losing the health because I'm getting zapped. Let's get out of here. Anyway, if you get over here, uh, I'm, I was thinking it was the target, but that's Galaxy 2, so, uh... Kill the Wigglers. I'm trying to see if I... I think there's a lot of star bits we can get in this area. We also pay to get the, uh... We also pay the Luma to get the, uh... Health extension, but I don't think I'm gonna need it, personally. No, we're not gonna need that. What does Captain Code have to say? Luigi, you finally made it! I'm starting to worry! Okay, kill that monster. I almost thought I was going to fall off and die because of my own stupidity, I should say, but, uh... One up. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Well, thank god there's a checkpoint we just hit, but, uh, we, we can fuck up- we can fuck this up 42 more times, so... And plus, we get to make this back with this, uh, one up right here. Well, if we go with full health, we're, we have full health this time, so it's not too much of a loss. Okay, yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go greedy for Starbitch, just try to uh, avoid the, uh, cannonballs. Let's get the one up. Alright, get that out of the way. I'm gonna avoid that magic Koopa and get up here and uh boss time. <laughs> you just don't give up. Fine, I'll just have to whip you myself. You want this grand star so bad, you have to take it from me. So yeah, we have to directly fight Bowser Jr. So uh it's the only time in the game we have to do that. But uh we have to use the Koopa shells and knock his airships. Um Oh yeah! DIE! Oh yeah, you have to, uh... What am I trying to say? DIE Magic Koopa! Get out of my way, you bullet bill! Get this, uh... Yeah, he's gonna get pissy now, so, uh... What he's gonna do now is, uh... He's gonna add it. He's gonna face the airship in a different direction and uh, add some more flames. One more hit, and he should be down. Eventually, he's gonna. Um, if you get hit at any point, there's gonna be a. Uh, what am I trying to say? There's the magic cube you can get for coins, but uh, I think I'm just gonna. If I get low on health, I'm just gonna. Uh, doesn't matter if we beat him. Anyway, so the Grand Star goes in the beacon, and more areas gonna light up.
Anyway, so we got, uh... We discovered a new galaxy. We'll do that later. And we'll read the, uh... Oh. Thanks to you and your friend, all the dumb lower levels are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level is powered, the whole observatory will be working. Then the commissary will fly with the starship once again. And you will be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, we're gonna cut it off with this part of, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy. So, uh... Next time on Super Luigi Galaxy... We're gonna see, we're gonna go over towards if we can get any loose stay anything the bedroom. See you guys then.